Hello Aries and welcome to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this reading is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your weekly reading or for the next seven days Aries and this is a timeless reading so you can watch it at any time and there may be some messages that resonate for you. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus so don't forget to check your other signs if you feel inclined. Wow, I already got two pop-outs, which is what I wanted to start with, with the Mystical Wisdom deck for Aries. So we've got Leadership, Set Your Goals, Aries. That's not hard for the typical Aries, is it? Leadership, Set Your Goals. And we've got Face Your Fears, Release the Power of Fear. Beautiful, I just want you to see that artwork on all these cards, it's very beautiful. Okay, Aries, and for the tarot, we are going to start with the Rider tarot deck, and then we will clarify with the Gilded tarot. Gilded tarot royale, sorry, that's the one we are going to clarify with. So the first card out is going to be your current situation, and then we will have challenges, advice, and then outcome. Everything's been pre-shuffled. All these cards have been cleared and I've cleansed the space for your reading Aries. Thank you all so much for being here. I greatly appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay. I'll give it another. Wow, we did get a legit pop out. I was just sort of dropping cards for a while there. But we're starting with the Lovers Aries. Maybe an important choice this week. Okay. There's some Lovers. So that's your current situation or the most pertinent situation right now this week pertaining to this reading. Then we'll do challenges, advice, and outcome for Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Aries need to know? Okay, so for your challenges, we have the King of Swords. Okay. Advice, we've got the Knight of Cups and outcome we have the emperor aries this represents you the emperor okay amazing 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 so far everything is looking really interesting i'm going to go ahead and clarify these and then read into them so we're clarifying the lovers the king of swords the knight of Com cups and the emperor lovers king of swords knight of Com cup i keep saying that wrong <laughs> knight of cups and the emperor my mouth keeps wanting to say emperor emperor because that's such a strong card it's a major arcana as well and so is the lover so you're reading this week aries is being bookended by major arcana cards okay so we've got the Ten of Cups, which just flew out. That's clarifying the lovers. Oh my gosh, and we've got the Four of Wands. Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. I hope you can see that. Okay, so we've got the Four of Wands clarifying the King of Swords. And we'll see how the story goes. We're clarifying the Knight of Cups now and the Emperor. Okay, Aries, the Knight of Cups is being clarified by the King of Wands. And the Emperor is being clarified by the Ace of Cups. So Aries, for a lot of you this week, I'm seeing love coming in, in one way or another, a romantic partnership, which could be represented by the lovers. This could also have to do with a business partnership, um, a choice. A choice between lovers, a choice between business partnerships or business decisions that you are trying to make with a business partner. And it's being clarified by the Ten of Cups. Okay, I'm sorry if there's a glare on these today. So the lovers is being clarified by the Ten of Cups. So this has to do for some of you, not all of you, but um, with your family, something some loving connections with your family. Maybe there's a family gathering, a family celebration of joining two people together something like that, or maybe somebody is receiving um, a, some kind of graduation certificate, uh, an award of some sort, um, but it's representing family, family stability, love, and a partnership, okay? And then also, I'm going to read that with your challenges as well. So 
For your situation, we've got the lovers, which could be a choice, and the king of swords. So I think that you're going or needing to go between your head and your heart, Aries, to balance out what you are making a decision on this week and make sure you don't neglect to do so. The King of Swords doesn't mess around. He could represent somebody of authority. He could represent an attorney, a police officer, or um, someone who ranks above you, or this could represent you ranking above others and making sure, um, I think in this combination of cards right here that I'm holding, I think one or more of you need to make sure that if you have authority over someone else or a certain situation, that you give, give people the will to choose what's best for them. It might be under your guidance, it could be with your children, or it could be with employees or something like that, but give them the ability to choose and weigh out and um, figure out for themselves what's best for them. They may need your approval for certain in certain situations, your approval may be necessary, but give them a little bit of leeway. Like don't, don't keep that collar too tight, if you know what I mean. Okay, and then the King of Swords for your challenges along with the Four of Wands. This could have to do with a family situation, um, wanting to be the leader or wanting to make sure that people whom you are close with in your life are setting off in the right direction. You want them to be safe and happy and healthy. Maybe someone in your family is getting engaged or graduating or leaving for college or something like that. And it's important to aid and assist in any way that you are able, but you need to realize, some of you, not all of you, that you need to let go a little bit and let others make their choices. I don't know why that keeps coming up right now, but there are more messages that are going to come out, I'm sure. I'm definitely seeing a choice in love. I think one or a couple of you are maybe dating or interested in a couple of people or are getting attention from a couple of people and are not quite sure what's best for you. Take your time always, Aries. Um, take your time, not too much time because not everybody wants to wait around, but go with your gut and go, go what feels right for you. And it might not necessarily be a choice between people. It might be the case that it's um, not for you right now to seek a love partnership or a new business partnership. That's something that you need to decide, but there is a lot of joy around family and whoever you see as family. Okay, it could be your blood relatives, it could be your friends, it could be your work family, but there's a lot of joy around that and some kind of union coming in, which is nice because there's happiness and um, a lot of people coming together wanting to celebrate together, especially with the Four of Wands here, I see a celebration a celebration, a union, a family, maybe um, an adoption, or maybe a couple who already have children from other marriages coming together. Okay, so your advice, we've got the Knight of Cups and the King of Wands. So somebody could actually be proposing marriage here or being proposed to. There is a lot of passion and love here and excitement. So I definitely do see a proposal of some sort, an offer of love coming in and this person is this person who is doing the asking is coming from their heart okay there is a lot of passion and fire and uh, attraction but they are also coming from a place of love not just attraction okay cool message there Aries and then for your outcome we've got the Emperor which represents you and the ace of cups which is a nice big cup of love so I think that someone in this situation, not everyone, maybe a couple of you, you are kind of seen as the head of the family and people look up to you and they see you as a very loving person or there is someone in your life who you see in that way. They are very loving and you want their blessing. Okay, you want their blessing and you are going to get it. And this Ace of Cups here is showing abundance in all ways, however you see abundance. It could have to do with money, love, success, um, all, what, however you see abundance, okay? Because in our hearts, we all see it in a different way. Okay, Aries, really cool reading so far. And thank you so much for being here. Okay, so if you have a question in mind, something that's been on your mind for a while, 
Think of it now, reflect on it as I'm shuffling the angel answers. And if you don't have a particular question, that's okay. When the cards come out, if something resonates, you will know. Okay. We're gonna go with the angel answers now. Usually I go back to the mystical wisdom for a minute, but for some reason I wanted to jump to these angel answers for Aries. We've got forgiveness, okay? Forgiveness. That's been coming up a lot lately. And what I always like to say first about forgiveness is that we all have a different definition for forgiveness. And it's important to take dogma away from that word and then and then decide how you view the word forgiveness and what it means to you because guilt should not be attached to forgiveness and we've got big happy changes aries that's really awesome okay so lots of love and celebration going on and people coming together that confirms that and when it comes to forgiveness that doesn't mean letting someone off the hook or excusing someone. Never force this. I say only only forgive when you're ready, if you see fit. And just because uh, you might forgive someone or yourself, um, it doesn't mean it's something um, that needs to be attached with guilt. It never should be attached to guilt, actually. Okay, and when it comes to someone else, it doesn't mean you have to excuse them. It doesn't mean you have to invite them back. The other thing I often get is that it's important, Aries, to be careful if someone has truly made a mistake and they truly are sorry and you haven't been harmed very deeply and you know in your gut, you know in your heart that they are truly sorry and they say, I'm really sorry, I didn't mean that, I didn't mean what I said, I was tired, I was hungry, I was a little bit jealous of you, but I love you, I didn't mean it. Well, that's something where depending on the full situation where it doesn't mean you need to cut that person off or never trust them again. When it comes from a genuine place, that's how you'll know. I mean, of course, there are certain things that are extreme, you know, where someone may hurt us and it's to the point where we're not going to trust them again, even though we're going to accept their apology. So I think some of you are in a situation where it's important to accept the apology and say, okay, you know, thank you for reaching out. I appreciate that, but leave it at that. It doesn't mean to bring them back in. And then we have big, happy changes. This is a really beautiful card. Big, happy changes for you this week, Aries. Okay, let's go back to the mystical wisdom here. Um, those are angel answers that I just read, by the way, in case I didn't mention it. Okay, Aries, we've got leadership, set your goals. Okay, Aries, I think Aries usually does have their goals set for the week, but it's also easy to get carried away with our, our thoughts. So I'm saying our in everything. I'm not every sign, obviously. I'm just saying we, our, as in, you know, we are all human. Okay, Aries, so leadership set your goals. There's lots of fire energy here, which is Aries energy. And I think that uh, maybe some things have been distracting you a little bit, Aries, and that's okay. Stick to your goals, but also stay focused on the loving connections going on this week, okay? And this doesn't necessarily have to be just this week. It could be leading up to this week, continuing after this week. It's just the general energy right now. So set your goals, Aries. Set your goals. Like maybe set yourself um, a schedule for this week so that you know you have time for the loved ones in your life as well. And face your fears. Release the power of fear. And Aries, with this reading today, I think the fear jumping out at me right now is the fear of losing control. So we need to keep in mind that we can't control everything, especially when it's our children who we love with all, all of our hearts and we want to protect them, whether they're adults or not. We can't control everything they do and every choice they make. We have to know and respect that everyone has their own path, okay? Face your fears and look deeper inside, Aries. Why do you have this fear? Okay, it goes a little bit deeper than loving, loving our families, our children, our friends. It goes deeper than that. And that's very, very important and a very good reason why a lot of us hang on so tight and want to just make sure that everything is okay. But there's something a little bit deeper. <clears throat> Why are you hanging on so tight? Okay, and then it will help you. As you reflect on that, it will help you. 
it will help give you some relief and peace of mind again remember everybody has their own path of course if there are children involved they need to be guided they need our presence but we also need to um you know allow the adults in our lives and kids of course to um age appropriately to make some of their own decisions okay we're going to round up this reading now with a secret garden deck for some advice this is Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'd appreciate that. Okay, and our first card out here from the Secret Garden is Bloom. Bloom and attract more than butterflies. Nice, Aries, I like that. Okay, and we have Relax, Delight in Powdered Gold Sunshine. So Aries, some of you really need to relax Take a couple of deep breaths. And again, remember, this message keeps coming up. Remember that everybody has their own path and we can't control everybody's lives, their schedule, every decision that they make. And enjoy this celebration coming in, Aries. Whether or not it's this week, it might be something that will be scheduled this week for the near future. Okay, Aries, thank you so much for being here. And I will see you again very soon. Thanks, Aries.